What's up, YouTube? This your boy DJ Kid Supreme. Um, back to making YouTube tutorials on Virtual DJ. Um, sorry, I've been in my for a minute. We had our tornadoes and stuff down here in Alabama, so I've been trying to help out here and there and get back. You know, get back. So, um, this is gonna be part four. Uh, part four is mostly gonna be about um, talk about the construction of a beat, how to count beats, BPMs. Uh, I'm going to get into loops a little bit, uh, your effects, and sampling. So let's get down to the nitty gritty. Um, right now I've got on deck deck one here. I got uh, that Nicki Minaj did it on them. Got the instrumental. Uh, shout out to 8th Wonder CD Pool. That's where I get some of my music from. Shout out to them. I'll put the link in the description. I also get my videos from there too. Um, a lot of effects and everything else you can get from virtualdj.com. Uh, just FYI, you have to be a registered user to get some of these effects. If you have a cracked version or a non legit version, you may be able to look on the web for the effects, but if you want the real stuff with the bug fixes and all that stuff, you have to go to the website and get the legit version, okay? Even if it's the home version, you can still get on there and do it, alright? Um, First things first, I'm going to talk about the beats. Um, if you don't know what a BPM is, BPM is beats per minute. Okay? Beats per minute are counted on the downbeat. Okay? Now, I don't want to get all technical, but the easy way to look at it is, if you look here at the grid, that big block you always see, that's your downbeat. Okay? There's always a downbeat, then three little beats in between and then the downbeat again so the best way to do it is the BPM is how many times you count that every time that downbeat occurs within the song okay so right now that's one okay that would be number two let me move it over that would be beat number two that would be beat number three beat number four and then the downbeat again your downbeat is that hard bass sound or your thump you know what I'm saying that thump. So, what I'm gonna do right now is gonna loop, loop that uh, song right there about four bars, so you can listen to it. And I'll explain what the four bars are, and then we're gonna, and then after that, I'm gonna count it so you can hear it. All right. If you notice, it's on. It just sounds like it's sinking, like it's seamless. You know the difference if you know the song, but if person ain't hurting you mixing it with acapella they don't know um, so watch what happens when we go to downbeat one two three four one two three four one two three four all right that down counting is essential for effects uh, looping uh, mixing everything Okay, that's everything. The basis of DJing is based upon the counting of BPMs or knowing, you know, BPMs or listening. Okay, um, since we talked about BPMs, we already explained that it's gonna go into loops. Okay, on our loop section here, we've got 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32. Now, you probably ask if, if you don't know, you're probably asking how come it doesn't go 1, 2, 3. Well, I'm going to go ahead and loop it manually to number three and let you listen to it. Okay. I'm going to manually loop it to number three. Just so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm sorry. I got the beat lock engaged. I'm sorry. Got to. All right. This is what it sounds like when you do a third beat. It just sounds incomplete. Okay, now when I do four, that's that downbeat. One, you know, one, two, three, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. All right, that's that downbeat. That's that four. Eight is just double, which is longer. Most song, most intros are eight bars. Um, sound makes the song sound complete so when you're 
DJing, you want to at least try to get the song to loop out at least eight bars. That way it sounds complete. Okay. I'm going to let this eight bars run through real quick so you can hear it. Okay, it sounds perfect when you loop in there with the eight bars. 16, just another one. 32, same thing. Um, now, loop can also be used as an effect. I'm going to go ahead and beat lock it. <coughs> lock it. What that does is it won't. It allows you to smart loop. And what smart loop does is make sure you loop on time. So if you accidentally hit out, let's say if you accidentally loop the out part of it on the third beat, it won't allow you. It'll just go ahead and jump to the next beat so it sounds correct. Okay. Um, shift is if you have to shift it, but nine times out of ten, if you're using that, you know, this here or the smart beat, you won't have to. Um, what I'm gonna do with the loops is I'm gonna make that build up sound that you hear in a lot of dance music where it goes and then it releases the song. Okay, uh, just pay attention, and what I'm going to do is use each one of these buttons in this bar here to make that happen, okay? All right, everybody just listen up. Now, I can just do it the easy way by pressing each one, but I just wanted to show you step by step, but you can just end it and do it real quick. That's how you get that build up, okay? Um, we'll go back to eight bars, okay? Sampling. Uh, sampling is a, it's, it's crazy in itself. You got to be able to sample on key. Um, with Virtual DJ, if I'm not mistaken, it would only sample... I want to say eight bars or four bars. I'm not 100%, but we'll find out right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and I got it set, set at uh, eight bars on the loop. I'm going to go ahead and play it. Turn the volume up. All right. Then on the first down, we can go. Okay, so now we're going to play it back. Notice that since it's loop, it's going to loop the right way. So apparently it loops eight bars. Um, now we're going to go down here to our sample section. If you haven't used this, this is your sample section. We can do this. We can load this, save it. We can match it to the pitch. We can beat lock it. We can sync it on a half beat. Autoplay, you can protect it, um, your volume, all that good stuff. Most time you want to play it. You can loop your sample, so if you want to loop it. Now there's that build up again. And see, so you can actually do that with the samples. Okay. Um, Effects are kind of self-explanatory, but if you don't do them on time using the loops, it doesn't sound right. Um, prime example would be backspin. I'm just going to play it. Um, a lot of effects are the same bass thing. You have to hit that downbeat to get it to work right, or it doesn't sound correct. It just sounds horrible. Um, that's pretty much it about the loops, the beeps, uh, I'm sorry, BPMs and everything like that. Your music is based off your BPMs. Never, ever, ever trust Virtual DJ, the software, to try to match it up. You got, sometimes you have to listen to it, but you want to be in the right range in order for it to sound right. Um, and this is the tutorial that I'm going to do. Well, it's tutorial number four on BPMs, beats, uh, loops and samples. Uh, look out for that next tutorial, tutorial number five. I'm gonna do uh, beat ma uh, mixing and probably some beat and acapella mixing. All right, stay tuned.